Here's three reasons why you should care about menopause. Hi everyone, Amanda Thieb here. I am a personal trainer and nutrition coach. I am the best-selling author of the book, Menopocalypse, how I learned to thrive during menopause and how you can too. Let's talk about menopause awareness. So I don't know if you've noticed, but menopause is truly having its time in the sun. There are millions of women worldwide that have no idea about what menopause is, how long it lasts, or the truly surprising array of symptoms. For example, there's a million women in the USA right now in menopause, and by the year 2025, there will be one billion women worldwide, and they often have no idea what to expect. We've been led to believe that menopause is all about hot flashes and potentially a few mood swings but it's so much more than that. We have emotional, psychological, neurological components of menopause that lead women to have symptoms like depression, anxiety, brain fog, heart palpitations, aching joints, gut issues, to name a few. Often women are so embarrassed to discuss those that they actually just put up with them and that's a terrible situation to be in. Things like dry vagina, painful sex, reoccurring vaginal infections and urinary tract infections are all treatable and preventable and then we talk about incontinence and actually this is where NYX comes into play they have their leak proof and their super leak proof products that can be really helpful for a woman during this period while she's seeking out medical help lastly let's talk about menopause and age it's time to bust a few myths it's considered or there's a misconception that menopause is for old women and really the opposite is true. I mean, I actually used to believe this, but we know that women can go into perimenopause in their late 30s, early 40s. And we also know that women spend most of their adult life in a menopausal state. Let's face it, after you've gone through menopause, you're postmenopausal until the day you die. Menopause has been wrapped up with ageism and sexism and it's completely intertwined. And we have to do a lot of unpacking to make people realize that menopausal women have much to give, they're the fastest growing demographic in the workplace and they bring to that experience their resiliency and their empathy into their careers. It's so important that we hang on to this elite workforce but unfortunately women are leaving work because they're told or they feel that they're weak or they're past it or they're no longer viable. That's incredibly sad and that's something that has to change.